Hello, but hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. And first off, thank you guys for all the great feedback, comments, and as well as the likes this past week. We had more videos this week than I think in a long time on this channel. So thank you guys all for the great feedback. Feel free to leave a comment down below what you guys think about today's stories, which are going to be timestamped down below if you want to bounce around from story to story. The first one, though, I suggest you don't miss it, is a crazy rumor out there. It's a very strong rumor for all of you Brazilian fans out there, and of course, SK Gaming fans in general, the number one team in the world right now. We have strong rumors and background evidence, which I'll present to all of you, that says that SK Gaming at some time in 2018 or maybe later on, maybe earlier as well, might be leaving that roster altogether or that organization for a new organization known as MIBR. So for all you non-Brazilian fans out there or people who do not know, MIBR actually stands for Made in Brazil. It's a very well-known branding name and a very well-known name in general in the Brazilian scene. And so of course, people are kind of wondering what that means, why of course SK Gaming would leave that roster. Let's talk about though the overall arching evidence. First of all is this, the Immortal CEO. I'm sure many of you guys know this face on screen that is actually Noah Winston apparently a couple weeks ago it's been rumored and almost confirmed so again a lot of this stuff is kind of you know contingent right now not fully confirmed but definitely strongly believed it's believed that Noah Winston actually acquired the branding rights to that MIBR name which pretty much means he has bought that organization title and the branding rights for it so anything acting under that name is pretty much controlled by him and of course you all know Noah Winston the owner and CEO of Immortals organization has very good connections out there and of course the sponsorship scene the investor scene and has plenty of money, although they did potentially lose their LCS spot for League of Legends because of a lack of funding. That's that's despite the problem right now because we do believe in the future they have tons of opportunities for funding for that and Noah Winston does apparently own those rights for MIBR. Now why he would acquire those? People were very skeptical of that and why else but, but to actually acquire a brand new Brazilian roster who wants to lead their current organization and that could be the Brazilian roster currently playing for SK Gaming. So the rumor right now of course is the SK Gaming roster, you know, fall and Taco, Fur, Cold Zera, all those guys, and of course would be Bolts, want to leave that SK Gaming roster and actually act under a new organization name known as MIBR. Now, further evidence of this, actually just speculation right now, and I do apologize, guys, I'm going to show you some tweets here. I might have lost a few things in translation. I only have a few friends out there who are willing to actually translate Portuguese in full to me, so I'll show you guys some tweets on screen for all of you, and I'll give you guys the kind of a little bit of a gist of what's happening here. So, uh, we see this tweet by a guy named Tito out there, kind of a gen generic tweet, talking about him streaming and of course being the number one team in the world blah 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 but the person who responded to this was actually Marcelo and that is actually Fallen's younger brother now what Marcelo says is very very keen he actually mentions Fallen's name and also Fallen's gear and his his kind of his his product line a lot of times in this conversation uh, then again another guy jumps in his name is Anthony Anthony talks about he wants to invest a lot of money maybe become a streamer himself he's looking for some sponsored products or maybe to get some gear from people and Marcelo goes on to say he can sponsor him with some of Fallen's gear but it might not be SK products. So this also goes with other rumors out there. If you guys have not heard, SK Gaming fans out there all around the world have been wanting to know when Fallen was going to release a new jacket line or a new form of apparel, and he's been trying to prolong this as long as possible, saying that it won't be it won't be uh, actually available for quite some time. People wondering why he would delay that, and of course, if you guys thought about it, yes, that's correct. He might be delaying his product line because he doesn't want to release a bunch of new SK Gaming products to his loyal fans, him being a really good guy, if he's going to move away from SK Gaming, and of course, if you're going to buy that gear and have your favorite player leave, it seems like kind of a waste. So all these rumors do align, guys. No, Winston owns the rights to MIBR. Of course, MIBR meaning Made in Brazil. It'd be a great organization for these guys to play under. Alongside that, Marcelo, Fallen's younger brother, hinting at this kind of thing in the future, some future changes for Fallen himself and, of course, his future products under the new branding name MIBR. And on top of that, of course, you guys might be wondering as well, we also had the rumor last week about Fallen, Taco, Apoca, Dead, and Zeus. Those five iconic Brazilian figures. I had a video all about this, guys. I'll link it down below if I can find it again. They're going to try and start their own organization for smaller Brazilian teams. I think they want to have a, a Rainbow team as well as a CSGO team and a League of Legends team as well. I want you guys to know as well, an ESPN writer known as Rocky Marquez has confirmed those are two separate identities. So this is not tied to MIBR at all. So Fallen, Taco, Apoca, Dead, and Zeus still want to start their own organization, a Brazilian organization, but that will not be at all tied to this thing, MIBR. So those are two separate things. And on top of that, many of you guys might be asking as well. And again, there's a lot of contradictions going around. So please leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about this rumor? I think it's very strong and very possible based off this last point. If you guys remember Alex Mueller, the one guy 
guy who actually acquired the former LG and now SK roster many, 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 actually over a year and a half ago now. If you guys remember how that all went down, you know, the, the poaching roster thing, SK Gaming had signed a contract back with LG. They also signed a contract with SK. SK used that to their advantage and actually eventually signed the roster no matter what. And there was that very, very brittle period and that very bitter period where people, the fans, the community, SK Gaming, no one was really sure if they really wanted to play for SK or they were forced to legally bounding. So Alex Mueller, of course, you guys remember that face on screen. People started to hate on him because of what he did. It was seen as, you know, maybe a misinterpretation. Maybe he misled these guys to sign these contracts. And so, of course, if that still lies there, if that's still a, a subtlety in, in, their, in, uh, in all these Brazilian players like Fallen and Taco and Fur, like those guys, if they're still thinking about that in the back of their heads, how they were somewhat betrayed by their owner, Maybe that's why they want to get away. And of course, we've had other people have problems as well with this plan because I also do want to mention, guys, Noah Winston has been known in the past to be kind of stingy with his money in terms of paying player salaries, so on and so forth. He's not known to pay the highest salaries in the world out there, which would be a, an argument against this plan entirely. So these are the rumors right now. Hope you guys all enjoyed that. I'll link all the stuff down below if you guys want to read through those tweets and the articles and the presented evidence so far. I do believe it's a possibility sometime in 2018, the current SK Gaming roster will leave SK for MIBR and start that new organization under Noah Winston and also of course going alongside that Noah Winston his current roster is a very very low tier Brazilian roster who knows what he's going to do with those remaining three to four guys actually I think it's three guys left now uh, maybe they'll go to join Fallen and Taco's new organization while Fallen and Taco go to act under Noah Winston and that new organization known as MIBR we'll see what happens though that was just in crazy news holy crap I'm actually lightheaded from that also though in bigger news of course in the title guys we do have pro players reacting to the major process if you did not watch my last video go check it out guys the major process has changed entirely although not too much so my overall thoughts and opinions I told you I told you guys the only thing I'm not a fan of is the fact is this we now have 24 teams getting stickers every single major if we have two to three majors a year that's just too many non-known teams getting stickers and the, the deflation of stickers is certainly to, certainly to come I think stickers will eventually be worthless if we keep down this path I mean certain stickers out there hundreds of stickers out there are already worthless worth seven or eight cents I just don't want to see that market go down and down and down and get way too oversaturated with too many teams having stickers. But more importantly, there have been so many pro players, probably more pro players now responding on Twitter than I have maybe ever seen in general. Maybe since the I buy power situation, we have pro players reacting guys all around the world to this new major process. And again, really quickly, if you guys do not know, the major process has now been condensed. As I show you guys these tweets on screen, has now been condensed from a from a one week a separated process where the major qualifier was separate from the major. It's now a two week long process. The first three days is the major qualifier the next three days is the major group stage and the last three days is actually going to be your actual uh, you know your, your major your last uh, eight teams in playoffs so it's been all the condensed down guys and the players did react to this I think the overall arching problem that we saw with players saying that now it's less prestigious that the idea that you're going to the major but now uh, we have these eight extra teams going to the major it makes it a lot less prestigious especially two to three times a year I certainly have to agree with that but I think Peter Milovanovic actually put it the best way possible guys is the overall thought does not change okay Okay? We still know the major qualifier is the first four to five days, and the last four to five days is the actual major. Those last six teams, 16 teams are the, are the real 16 teams that made it to what we call, or used to call, the major. He really did, he made a great point by saying, this does not take away from the competition. The fact that there's more stickers out there does not take away from the great gameplay, and the fact that these teams still have to qualify to make what we previously called the major. Now, I really don't understand the challenger legendary stage, so I really can't explain it too much to all of you guys, but leave a comment down below. What do you all think? And again, this really changes my plans immensely because I was going to talk to you guys about my major investing strategies and I don't know what to do anymore because I know last major we saw the addition of gold stickers and that really deflated the price of those lowest tier capsules. Those lowest tier capsules, uh, they sell for 25 cents on the last day of the major and now they're only still worth 46 cents. So uh, in the past, we've seen those, those same capsules be worth several dollars. So it's really a problem because we now have so many people buying stickers, so many stickers out there available. The market's going to be very, very fluctuated and of course, it might be deflated as well. It, it changes my entire strategy and it makes me worried to actually recommend things to all of you guys because I hate to recommend something to all of you and then have you lose money by it. So I will be making a major uh, investing strategy video for all of you guys, but please be very wary. Please be very careful. This next major is going to change a lot in the market. And I really do apologize for rambling guys. Whenever I talk about major investing, I get very carried away. I love that kind of, just the fact that you can have an economy to invest in, but again, please do be careful. I'll make that video sometime soon, the next two to three weeks while I'm over for a uh, college break. My 
my last final was actually today, so I'm now done. And that's why I'm making today's uh, episode of CSK News. And our last story today, though, very important for all you Tai Lu fans out there. I'm not really sure if I have any Asian viewers, but if you guys are from the Asian scene, feel free to comment down below, like Go Asia or something, because oftentimes when I ask for comments about Asia, people actually um, leave some hateful comments. So please leave a comment if you guys are from the Asian scene. And what are you guys' thoughts on this? Tai Lu has now confirmed their fifth member will be indeed their former coach and the current heroic coach will be Peacemaker. So this is a huge hit, guys. I know in the past we've seen Peacemaker play. I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love the guy. He's a great coach, has, has presented himself on several teams out there, both in North America, South America, and across Europe and Asia. The most diverse coach we've ever seen, but he's not a very strong player, especially when you compare him to the former player they did lose due to visa issues. That's, of course, BNT. He will not be there. His visa got rejected. So I do feel bad for Tai Lu. I do not expect him to qualify at all, guys. Uh, really kind of looking forward to see how they play and wishing the best of luck. But also on top of that, good luck for Heroic because and uh, Peacemaker, they actually extended his contract. He will now be staying with them for an extended period of time as he's currently on loan as their coach, but he will be a stand-in player for Tai Lu. So best of luck to them. We'll see what happens though at the major qualifier. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did, please do me a favor, leave a comment down below. I have all day today and uh, this weekend to actually reply to your comments. So I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you on a couple days. Some more My Thoughts Don't Matter as well as some more CSK News episodes. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed. As always, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. And uh, yeah, goodbye. Days, then it's gonna be a follow-up and shuttle. You gotta be kidding me. Take those two